Today I'm going to show you something that uh, hopefully you will find helpful if you're trying to diagnose an iPad that will not charge. I've got an iPad 7 motherboard here and uh, one of my wholesale customers sent it in and said that his TriStar tester told him that the charging IC or possibly the Hydra I think is what it indicated uh, might be bad and this will generally apply to any iPad uh, generation 2 through 8 uh, most likely the iPad Air as well. Now the thing about the TriStar tester is that if you have a problem with the charge port, uh, broken connection here, open line, corrosion on the inside, you don't always get 100% accuracy, so they're pretty good for the most part, but once in a while you're just going to have to do the port anyways. Now to rule that out, I'll show you uh, what I generally do here, and just a quick demonstration for what's going on with the uh, with the board in the first place. Now even without a battery connected we should get some indication of amperage here on our meter and as you can see I've got just complete flat zero the voltage doesn't even change which generally they do when you plug them in so uh, we've got nothing going on on the inside here and I've noticed a consistency when we do have a charging IC issue and I'll show you how to test with that with the multimeter right now so if you don't happen to have a TriStar tester uh, you can actually find this point here. This is going to be ppvbus underscore e75 underscore usb underscore conn is what it will be on the other side. And you can find that circuit underneath this little uh, sticker. <clears throat> but if you want an easy way to see it, and I'm doing this so that I can record because it's kind of hard for me to see this without the microscope. Just go ahead and peel off this sticker right behind the charge port. Set that aside right here and your VBUS is going to be right about in this area here. So again, bear with me because it's hard for me to see what I'm doing. But what I'm gonna do is go ahead and turn on the multimeter. We will plug in the power, and what we should be getting is five volts. This 5.27 volts that we have here, we should also see that on the meter when we probe on that line. However, what I've found consistently is that if you have a bad charging IC, I shouldn't say consistently, quite often uh, with a certain level of consistency, what will happen is if you probe your uh, PP bus here, you'll generally get something in the range of 4.3 volts when we should have 5 volts coming in. So this is almost definitely going to be a charging IC. I don't know uh, whether or not it might be the other chip this time, but I'll start with the charging IC first and then we'll come back and test it. And we should have that 5 volts coming in and when we do, I'll throw a battery on here and we should be able to charge it at that point. All right, we've got our new charging IC installed. And now this is gonna kind of be the tricky part. I'm going to set the board on a battery. I'm gonna make sure we have a good connection here. And uh, yeah, this is the fun part. Let's do this first. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this guy. We'll plug in our charging cable. We're gonna hold this in place with one hand and then we will connect the power over here and with any luck we'll see something different this time let's get the glare off there okay so if you didn't catch that it went from uh, 0.46 and then straight up to 2 amps which means we are charging unless we've got a major short on the board that's the only other alternative but uh, obviously we'll go ahead and plug the LCD in and verify that but this is a good indication here and pretty typical of a situation like this let's do this one more time so it's probably not booting just yet, so we'll probably get that half an amp or so draw, like 0.46 initially. 
No, it went straight to two amps. So this board might actually be powered on right now. In any case, um, that's one way that you can uh, go about testing to see if maybe you have a bad charging IC. Hope you found that helpful. Catch you next time.